Hey everyone, welcome to this session of pair of linear equations. In the previous sessions of algebraic method, we have learned how to solve pair of linear equations using elimination method and substitution method. In this session, we will learn the third algebraic method that is cross multiplication method of solving pair of linear equations. For understanding this, let's take an example of pair of linear equations. If you remember, we have explained elimination method and substitution method using the same example. As we all know, variables in equation are always attached to some constants. Similarly, here also, in these equations, x and y are attached to some constants. You can't see anything over here, that means there is one which is multiplying with x. Similarly, there is one with y. In second equation as well, there is one with x and one with y. These constants with the variables are called as coefficients of those variables. So we can write these equations as 1 into x plus 1 into y. Let's bring this 4 to the left hand side. This will become negative 4 equal to 0. Right hand side is 0. Similarly, for this equation, 1 into x minus 1 into y. Let's bring this 2 to the left hand side. So this will become negative 2. Right hand side remains 0. Let's say for coefficients of x, let's give name as a1 and a2. For coefficients of y, let's give name as b1 and b2. For constants, let's give name as c1 and c2. So a1 is 1, b1 is 1, c1 is minus 4. Here a2 is 1, so b2 is minus 1 and c2 is minus 2. We can get the values of x and y from these two equations by using the following formula. Let's understand how we got this formula. For three things, we have three terms in the formula. For x, we have this part. For y, we have this part. And for constant, we have this part, the third part. Now the question is how to remember such a big formula with so many terms. We have a simple trick to remember this formula. Let's understand each and every part separately. Let's start with x term. So we have x and below x you can see we have these terms. In equations you can see coefficients of x are a1 and a2 but below x there are no coefficients of x. I mean you can't see a1 and a2 below x. Then how do we get this denominator? So apart from a1 and a2 we have other constants b1 and b2, c1 and c2. Similarly, for y in the denominator, we can't see b1 and b2 below y. So apart from b1 and b2, we have other constants c1, c2, a1, a2. Similarly, for the constant part, below 1 we can't see c1 and c2, the constant parts of the equations. So apart from c1 and c2, we have a1, a2, b1, b2. We have to remember this arrangement for remembering the formula. Now we will learn how we got these denominators. This b1 is multiplied with c2 to get b1 c2 and this b2 and c1 are multiplied to get c1 b2 and they are subtracted. Similarly c1 is multiplied to a2 to get c1 a2 and c2 is multiplied to a1 to get c2 a1 and they are subtracted. Similarly, a1 is multiplied to b2 to get this term and a2 is multiplied to b1 to get this term and they are subtracted. You can see in these denominators, the terms are cross multiplied. So therefore, it is cross multiplication method. Now we understood how to remember this formula. For that, we have to remember this arrangement. Now we will see how to use this formula for getting the values of x and y. For that, let's list out all the values of the constants. a1 is 1, a2 is 1, b1, we have all the values over here. Let's start with the first term of the formula for the x. So x upon, we have b1, c2, the value of b1 is 1 and value of c2 is minus 2 minus c1 b2 
C1 is minus 4 and B2 is minus 1. Similarly, So here we have replaced all the values for a1, a2, b1, b2 and c1, c2. Now let's solve them. So x upon 1 into minus 2 is minus 2 minus minus 4 minus 1 it is 4. y upon minus 4 minus and minus becomes plus so plus 2 so simplifying further we'll get x upon minus 6 here minus 4 2 becomes minus 2 and it is 1 upon minus 2 here we can see that these three terms are equal to each other so let's consider two terms at a time so let's take x term and constant term and then we'll take y term and constant term. So let's start with x term. It is x upon minus 6 equals to 1 upon minus 2. So therefore, x equals to this minus 6 is multiplied with 1. We'll get minus 6 upon minus 2. Minus minus cancelled. 2, 3 is our 6. So therefore, x equals to 3. We got the value for x as 3. Similarly, for the y term, we have y upon minus 2 equals to 1 upon minus 2. So this minus 2 is multiplied with 1. We get y equals to minus 2 upon minus 2. They are cancelled. We got 1. So we got the value for y as 1. These are the same values which we got for the previous methods that is elimination method and substitution method of solving pair of linear equations. So from these sessions we have learned that in algebraic method we can solve pair of linear equations using any of these three methods that is number one elimination method, number two substitution method and number three is cross multiplication method. So from this session we have learned 